the children who were separated from their families or parents need to be reunited. That's already begun. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo speaking about the crisis of migrant children separated from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border. Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Fobles. Cardinal DiNardo leading a delegation of bishops to a Texas border town. Their mission, focus a powerful spotlight on what's happening with immigrant families who entered the country illegally. We have team coverage. Editor of Nuestra Voz, Jorge Dominguez, and Currents News, Tim Harfman, are both in Texas. We begin with Tim Harfman standing by in McAllen with more on the bishops' news conference. Tim. Liz, over the last few days, we've seen hundreds of immigrant men, women, and children who hardly have any belongings left. They've spent weeks walking and taking buses. They haven't slept in days as they risk their lives fleeing their homeland, trying to make it here in America. Now the U.S. The US bishops are traveling from across the country to let these migrants know that they haven't been forgotten. The Gateway International Bridge connects the United States and Mexico. But for asylum seekers, it also divides hope for the future and harsh reality. Escaping the violence in their homelands, undocumented immigrants face deportation. Thousands of families have been separated. The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops looked to be a bridge, showing solidarity during what they call an inhumane situation. At a news conference in San Juan, Texas, the delegation discusses their findings after a two-day journey to the border. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo is the president of the USCCB. From our trip, there are no villains, but there's lots of challenges and there's some things we can do better. The visit includes mass with children at a detention center and visiting a Catholic charities facility where migrants, many of them wearing electronic ankle monitors, receive basic essentials like food and a place to sleep. Cardinal DiNardo leads the panel of prelates, including Archbishop Jose Gomez of Los Angeles. Bishop Daniel Flores of Brownsville, Texas, Bishop Joseph Bombera of Scranton, Pennsylvania, and Auxiliary Bishop Robert Brennan of Rockville Center. The clerics say reuniting families is a top priority. When you have the opportunity to sit down with a family, uh, liberal labels and conservative labels melt away. It's not just politics. It's really talking about uh, men and women, parents and, and, and children, brothers and sisters. After being separated from their asylum-seeking parents, children ranging from 10 to 17 years old were divided into detention centers, some boys being sent to this converted school building, some girls being housed inside this former medical clinic. The U.S.-Mexico border is nearly 2,000 miles long. In some areas like here, there's an 18-foot metal fence. But the USCCB says regardless of what side of the fence migrants are on, they stand with them. There are borders. Our nation has rights. There's no question. We also have to keep in mind a humane approach to these things. Cardinal DiNardo recalls meeting one migrant while visiting Catholic Charities Sunday. I'm not looking at an abstraction when I look at him. I'm looking at a human being. And this human person, I mean, is shaken. And the U.S. bishops say they will do whatever it takes to serve as a bridge, helping to reunite families. And although this trip is over, the Diocese of Brownsville will continue to help these migrants through Catholic charities and other programs. Liz, back to you. Tim, if you had to narrow it down, what seems to be the one takeaway, the one theme from this trip? We've heard it over the last several days, multiple times, that we're a country of laws, but we are also a country of compassion. And I think the people here are realizing that although it's very important to protect our borders, it's even greater to uh, protect human life. All right, Tim, thank you very much for that report.